let's consider a function that's passing between two given points. Meaning what we know with it is that there's some point A, some point B, and our function is somehow passing between the two of those. So the question becomes, how does our curve get from point A to point B? One method would be to curve in this upward kind of manner. So that's one way our curve or the curve of our function could pass between those two points. Alternatively, we might have a downward curve. And I didn't quite get there. Let me do that one more time. A downward curve connecting those two points. So not only do we want to know where is our function increasing, decreasing, we want to know between different points which way is it curving. So which of these would be the appropriate type of curve or shape for our graph. So this is the idea of concavity. So concavity describes the way a function curves from one point to the next. So a function has the potential to be concave up, meaning it opens upward. So something like this, a parabola pointing up, would be concave up. Or we might have something that's concave down. Or opening downward. So that would be, could be demonstrated similarly by a parabola, but a parabola that opens in the opposite direction. So one other way to think of this is concave up makes a bowl shape, concave down makes an upside down bowl shape. So in some cases it can be a little more difficult to see what exactly that type of curve is. So one thing to do is to think about extending the curve beyond what we actually see. So in this case, this green line that we had drawn, if we trace that and continue following that same kind of pattern, what we've got is that curve that's opening downward. And our blue curve, if we continue to extend that, would be something that's opening upward. So sometimes what can be helpful is to sketch just a little bit more of what that curve would look like if that graph continued. So we're interested in determining when is our function concave up, when is it concave down. And we can do that by taking a look at the second derivative of our function. So a function is going to be concave up when the second derivative, which we can write as f double prime of x, is greater than 0. A function is concave down when the second derivative, f double prime of x, is something less than 0. So looking back at the two curves that we sketched here, since our function is concave down, f double prime would be negative for the entire domain. And our curve that was concave up, f double prime would be positive because it would be concave up for the entire domain. So simple parabolas might just be concave up, may just be concave down, or we may have cases where concavity changes. So we're going to get back into this idea of constructing sign charts to look and see if concavity changes and what that means.